day 73. I didn't actually think I was ha gonna have the time to do this, uh, but I ended up being pretty awake uh, after work. So my schedule today was 6.30 to what ended up being 10.30 uh, overtime, then 12.30 to 10 o'clock at night. So I basically had about two hours, which I took to nap. Uh, I did end up being actually conscious, and I'm actually still pretty conscious after work, uh, and I did get my 30 minutes in. Uh, I decided to focus strictly on the Catalyst logo, um, and this is, I wonder if this is going to, looks like that's going to translate. Um, actually, let's, let me, let me, I like to, I like to bite off mic a little bit. So I'm going to do it this way, just because it makes more sense to me. So, that right here, boom. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to be looking at this while I explain. I think he does some some movie magic, but I'm just gonna actually look at what I'm looking at. Uh, so this is the last thing. the The biggest thing here is that I'm looking at one of the big things I was lo looking at was the word catalyst. Uh, I remember RNA strands being spoken of as the catalyst uh, for change inside the body. Uh, so I kind of went with the RNA thing. Uh, I I wanted to stay away from that though because that went really really close to infringing on the the that half dna strand from um from the hero show uh that was that was uh, an rna strand that they had on that so i i didn't want to go crazy with that but i did integrate in a couple of these options um what i ended up doing is actually just made made it ended up kept, kept adding layers to this uh so we'll come back down this way we'll, we'll do that that'll be the first one uh, this was just some concepts. Uh, we've got uh, the bottom right there. Uh, got a picture of. I was thinking something along the lines of like a, a printing press going into a computer. So kind of a continuation, kind of like an evolution of the concept. Um, maybe a play on the copyright logo. Just I was tossing around. This was my first uh, first layer. Uh, this was all actually done with the Wacom too. So I'm, I'm kind of forcing myself to work on it. Um, I like this. This actually came about from the idea of a catalyst looking at atomic structure. Uh, so looking at the atomic structure, you uh, you know you have elements and they're connected in some way. Uh, they're usually invisible bonds, but here you know often when they're displayed, when they're shown, uh, they are shown as lines. So I'm thinking I like so far. I like the the bottom right one there. Although I do like the the circular one as well. Um, still playing around. I don't know. I, I haven't picked a favorite yet. Uh, this one, I actually figured out how you how to do the the uh, pressure sensitivity. So this is where it gets more sketchy. And uh, with this one, I wanted to emulate uh, more of the. I don't even know what to call them. I, I, with the Nexus site and the Nexus brand, I've gone into a lot of um, like concentric circles and things like that. That just kind of like where the idea has gone. Um, so I kind of wanted to utilize that. Uh, you can, if you check out the Nexus Facebook page, which I will show the banner right here, um, that's kind of what I'm talking about. So like the the front page on Nexus used to be this like image, the this stock image that I found that I modified that was uh, concentric circles and just like it was um, an idea of like loose design going into uh, tight, clean design. So. Uh, kind of was trying to emulate that and I don't know if I succeeded I don't really know if I like any of these uh, but I just I still wanted to get that down this this is more along the lines of thinking of comics when you when you get a comic book um, at least back in the day now and not so much but back in the day you would get um, you would have like the, the publisher badge on the top left uh, whether you know, whether it be DC Marvel image whatever you had the publisher badge for the longest time I actually loved the image one because it utilized their logo and still gave you like characters so like they would throw the characters into the bottom piece of the the lowercase i and then you like the whole thing was really really recognizable uh, so i wanted to do something like that but at the same time i kept thinking of this idea of like you know physical into digital it's like that's why i like the the bottom right there i've got the kind of scroll going in and then the bottom corner of it uh, becoming digitized so like pieces of it would just like become disincorporated 
Um, so I was thinking that is probably where we're going to end up with that. I can't figure out really what I want that to look like. It's just going to be the initial, so the CP, the Catalyst Publishing is the concept here. Um, I can't figure out what I want it to look like. So the, the main one there in the top left, not the top left one, but the, the big one, uh, that is probably the probably the, the winner so far, but I'm not 100% satisfied with that either. So just something to, to think about for the future. That's basically it. I'm going to get some sleep because more overtime tomorrow. But I actually also want to get some stuff done. I might be able to finish up this basement down here tomorrow. Depending on when I wake up. Uh, as a quick wrap, wrap up, I do want to mention, uh, when I first started the Nexus 100, I had this huge, huge plan. It's actually still, still on the board over there where I was going to do work on Nexus stuff. I was going to do work on T3G stuff along with this. That quickly, for me, spiraled out of control. My time management is atrocious. Uh, watching Mike do the same with just precision that I can only hope to emulate someday is extremely, extremely impressive. It is encouraging. It is, uh, is, is a source of motivation in my daily life. And I really want to say thank you, Mike. Uh, same thing with Gaz. Gaz just... The amount of stuff that dude does, killer. I mean, just like, you know, he does he's doing cons, like presenting at cons, still doing convention show, or like uh, art for the cons, still doing uh, the videos and like keeping them interesting. And that's that's my biggest thing. Is right now, you know, I'm sitting in front of a camera talking. Uh, I had my roofers out yesterday, and my wife was like, "Why didn't you record? You vlog?" And I was like, "Oh man, like what a dumb." What a dumb thing. Long story short, the roof got put up. The new gutters went up today. The attic insulation is going up on the first. It's already cooler. Uh, it's already like heat managing better. They've got whole different, uh, whole different like anyway. There's like a lot of roofing stuff that I didn't even know like was a thing. Like when you actually get into like home construction, it's pretty crazy. Anyway. So that's kind of my, my little aside. I, I really appreciate the people that are just knocking it out of the park. Uh, Mike is on his third round, and it's a crazy just the amount of work he's put into his stuff. Uh, Gaz, I think, is on his second round doing the Issue 2 stuff for the Horror A4. I have now officially, that is the other thing I wanted to say, I have now officially gotten a quote for turnarounds uh, from an artist on DeviantArt. And that's probably where I'm going to go. Um, I mean, it's 50, 50 bucks a pop. That's not bad. Uh, for, you know, front, back, side. That's not bad. That's really not bad. Um, depending on, like, how many people I want to get done. Because if, if I have to do... If I want to do all of them, that's going to be a few dollars. <laughs> but, I mean, it'll be worth it. I really think it'll be worth it. I might have them just do the one design like the primary second gen design the primary first gen which is really just like a military gear like like really just flat out like if you just take the snake design that's basically it like snake Pl or not snake, snake Pliskin. what am i talking about like solid snake from uh, metal gear solid which i have never played by the way like super military and i'm super out of focus again there it is. Um, that's really kind of what that first gen design is. But anyway, uh, I might have him do the first gen design, have him do the second gen design. The recon team, I'm probably alpha, because alpha kind of has his own look. That's still $200. Whew. Man, when you say it out loud like that, it's a lot of money. Hopefully, though, we're going to be finishing up this children's book invoicing that and we'll have a few dollars however there are other bills to pay. business you know it's business it's a lot of business uh, although i'm still trying to close a couple a couple more deals so maybe we get some income we'll see, we'll see what happens we'll see what happens if we get some income we might not have to we might not have to kickstart which would i mean i would still like to i don't know 
This is a lot of money. I'd like to get it out as soon as possible. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I have dragged this on long enough. Appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, check out Facebook. Uh, check out the Wolfpack Facebook. Check out the Catalyst Publishing Facebook. That's kind of the thing that is uh, proceeding here. And I'll see you guys next time.